Hey, the King Center kicks off events leading up to the Martin Luther King Jr. Federal Holiday on Monday. It's been called a day on, not a day off. And this year, the focus is on the passage of voting rights legislation. So many are weary, so many are disappointed, so many have voted and still are not seeing progress in the most pressing areas of their lives. The daughter of civil rights leader Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and CEO of the King Center, Dr. Bernice King making it clear that we have to shift our focus, making equity a priority. So many are numb. This doesn't mean they don't love the nation they live in, the world, or their communities. It means that they have reached an impasse, and to a certain extent, we all have. We cannot tolerate it King any kicking off a series of MLK events across Atlanta leading up to Monday, January 17th, the official King holiday. You shall reap what you sow. Yeah. Though most events throughout this week will be virtual, many will center on voting rights and social justice. Can you see? Can you see? On Saturday, what would have been her father's 93rd birthday, Dr. Bernice King will introduce her first children's book. It starts with me as a book uh, that really uh, helps children understand ways they can learn how to open their hearts and minds by allowing love to drive their behavior, actions, and thoughts. Saturday night, the beloved Community Awards will honor notable figures, including gymnast Simone Biles and Nobel Prize winner activist Malala Yousafzai, along with Usher's New Look Foundation. In my heart. And the events will cap off Monday, the 37th anniversary of the National King holiday with an in-person rally in March through downtown Atlanta. And also First Lady Dr. Jill Biden is expected to be among the notables at the MLK Day ceremonies. That's according to the King Center. Her